Hello, this is Tori with Landio. Through the connection with millions of people across all the different communication platforms, we've identified property attributes which some people find very desirable. And one of the attributes that is continuously requested is property that borders public land of some type. This could be state land, like a state park, state wildlife area, BLM land, the Bureau of Land Management. It could also be a national park, a wildlife refuge, or a national forest. And many people like national forest land because it is typically wooded. There's often varied terrain, creeks, streams, rivers. There's an abundance of wildlife. People like to hike, horseback ride. And the 16.74 acre property we're showing you today in New Mexico does border national forest land. This is the parcel highlighted in green. You can see that the southwest corner forms an approximate 90 degree angle. And there's a diagonal boundary from the northwest corner to the northeast corner, almost making a pie shape that then hugs the curvature of the road. Now this is a gravel road. There is electricity, telephone, and internet lines already in place. You can see the neighbor to the south has cut a driveway in and then built a home with some accessory buildings. The northwest portion of the property borders this national forest land here. This is the Cibola National Forest. And the majority of this portion right here is part of the Manzano Wilderness Area. This is the U.S. Department of Agriculture's website. We're in the forest service section looking at the Cibola National Forest and National Grasslands. Here's what it says about the Manzano Mountain Wilderness Area. This 36,875 acre Manzano Mountain Wilderness Area is located on the Mountaineer Ranger District. It was designated as a wilderness area in 1978. The word Manzano is Spanish for apple trees, which is what explorers discovered on the eastern edge of the mountains back in the early 1700s. Apple trees are not native to this part of the country, so the mountains were named because of the discovery of these old apple trees. Be interesting to see if some of those apple trees are still there on the mountains. It also brings to mind the question, what type of apple trees would do well in this environment? Now the description continues, spread out across the western slope of the Manzano mountain range, this wilderness varies in elevation from about 6,000 feet to 10,098 feet. The high elevation point of this property is around 7,000 feet elevation. So from this point, the peak of the Manzano mountain wilderness area is nearly another 3,000 feet which you'll see in some of the images where the view is showcased. And you have views of some of those higher elevation points from the property. A mile is 5,280 feet. So we're looking at a difference in elevation here of roughly 4,100 feet, which is nearly three quarters of a mile. The terrain is steep and rugged, cut with canyons and marked with outcroppings of rock. Thousands of raptors migrate along the Manzanos in spring and fall as they work their way between Canada and Mexico. Vegetation consists of pinyon and juniper at the lower heights, gradually taken over by ponderosa pine and then spruce, fir, and aspen higher up. More than 64 miles of a well-developed trail system provide access to the wilderness. If we go back to the interactive map and zoom out from the property, you can see just how much national forest land is contiguous. When I say contiguous, that means there is not a break in the connection of the land. For example, this blue shaded area right here. This is not contiguous with the national forest land. It's a different type of land. This is state land of some sort, but it does not adjoin the national forest land. There's a break. Whereas this land is contiguous. It borders the national forest. So all of this national forest land is contiguous. You could set about on foot from your property and continue in the national forest land all the way to this southern point. And down here you have what is named the Salinas Pueblo Missions National Monument. This is the National Park Service website where they have some photos of the National Monument. How cool is that? I used to love exploring stuff like this when I was a kid. And the image says this is a view of the church. And there's the foundation of the church. And these are likely the foundation of many homes and other necessary structures that surrounded the church. If you'd rather drive down to the National Monument, it's real easy to get to. And then just on the other side of the mountains, you have Albuquerque, New Mexico. And that part where they talk about the migrating raptors, which includes hawks, eagles, and falcons, there were many raptors flying around while we were there documenting the properties. We were able to snap a photo of one of them sitting atop a utility pole watching over the Manzano Morning subdivision. Here are a couple images showing the views from one of the higher elevation points on the property. And this is just what was captured through a natural break in the trees. If one were to develop the property, they could 
clear the trees in a certain area to really open up the desired view. Here's a breathtaking view of the sun setting over the Manzano Mountains. This is east of the property looking west. This is the low elevation point on the property where it hugs the road. And then the high elevation point that borders the National Forest. It's not shown in this image, but this northwest portion of the property is what borders all that National Forest land. There are electricity lines and poles already in place along the road and at the neighboring property to the south. And now we're west of the property looking east. Again, you can see where it has the road frontage down there on the eastern portion. And then this northwest portion up here is what borders the National Forest. Now this was a Google Earth terrain view. These white circles represent many of the nearby landowners who have developed their properties to varying degrees. This is the neighbor directly to the south. There's another neighbor to the south. Nice home with accessory buildings. This is southeast of the property. You can see another home that's built up here on the hill. If you look at this road in the image, you go to all the way down to the end where that road is, it starts to curve. And about right here, that's where about the road frontage is. Here's a neighbor to the east. Again, main home with multiple accessory buildings. Another view of the neighbor to the east. This is standing on the property looking at the road. It's Twin Peaks Drive. There's roughly 115 feet of frontage along Twin Peaks Drive. You can see it's a gravel road. The property is located in the Manzano Morning subdivision. It is a private gated community. There's the keypad to access the gate. There is an optional community water well. You can pay a fee to participate in this community water well, you would then haul the water from the community water well to a cistern or storage tank that you would have on your property. Or as an alternative, you could have a water well drilled on your property, which is what some of the nearby landowners have done. This is the plat map of the parcel highlighted in green. It is lot number 32. You're about 20 minutes from the town of Estancia, population around 1500. In Estancia, you can find fuel, food, and supplies. You're about 33 minutes from Mountain Air, population around 850. Their tagline is Gateway to Ancient Cities. There's also food, fuel, and supplies in Mountain Air. You're about 37 minutes from Moriarty, population around 2,250. In Moriarty, there's groceries, lumber, building supplies, along with other necessities. And then along Interstate 40, you have Edgewood, New Mexico. Edgewood has a population around 6,000. It's east of Albuquerque. You'll find some of the bigger box retail stores in Edgewood. Along with medical care, there's a Walmart, Tractor Supply, Walgreens, AutoZone, Smith's Food and Drug. Here's a photo from Edgewood looking at the mountains. There's the Walmart Supercenter, Tractor Supply Store, Building Supplies, the Walgreens. And then you're only about 45 minutes from Albuquerque. Albuquerque is the largest city in New Mexico, population over half a million. Pretty much anything you need you can find in Albuquerque. There's even a Whole Foods, Natural Grocers, Home Depot, Lowe's, Sam's Club, Costco, the University of New Mexico. Here are the hospitals, the Costco, Whole Foods, Lowe's, Sam's Club, Walmart, and Home Depot. There's also an international airport in Albuquerque with direct flights from most major cities in the United States. On our website, Landio.com, you're going to find the property details page. By the time you're watching this video, it will be at the top here on the details page for this property. Currently, we have a 360 drive through of the entire subdivision. We're gonna move this video just below. It'll be right here when you're watching this video. This 360 degree drive video takes you from the entrance to the subdivision and then goes through the entire subdivision and then back out to the entrance. And then in the heads up display portion, we have a map that shows you where the vehicle is at in the subdivision. The 16.74 acre property is right here. We're gonna fast forward to that point. It's about at the six minute and 12 second mark. And right now what we're doing is we're coming along where that property is, right here. If you were to grab your cursor and move the camera, you can see up the mountain, and that would be the approximate location of the property. And as we're continuing down the road, you can see the driveway of the neighbor directly to the south. There are the electricity lines and poles, and the drive will continue through the subdivision and then back out to the entrance. We have this 16.74 acre property priced at $69,997. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are $93.65 a year for the entire property. There's a $290 a year HOA fee. This covers the maintenance of the roads and the common areas within the subdivision. The minimum dwelling size is 1,000 square feet. Manufactured homes are permitted. 
Here's a link to view the covenants for the Manzano Morning Subdivision. We have the distances to nearby points of interest and links where you can find more information about these locations. Here we have the GPS coordinates and links where you can open those on a Google map. Here's a link to the interactive map of the property and also a link to the interactive map where all of the lots are visible. There are over 200 images of the property in the surrounding area. If the property is of interest, we highly recommend you take the time to look through all these images. They'll answer many questions that you have and even some you had not thought of. Then at the bottom of the page, we have the interactive map actually embedded within the page. If you'd like to view the map in full screen, you can just click this full screen button and the map will open in a new tab. This is a property that we own and this enables us to offer a much simpler sales process. You can secure the property with a simple $4.99 deposit. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, precious metals, cryptocurrencies, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. To secure the property, just click this green buy now button that will add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click checkout. Once you click checkout, this window appears. We then enter all your contact information, click continue to payment, enter your payment information and complete the checkout process. We only have one of each property available and we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. The first person that places a deposit is the one that secures the property. Once the deposit has been placed, this buy now button will automatically turn gray and say out of stock. If you're looking at this property and the buy now button has turned gray and says out of stock, that means that someone else has placed a deposit on the property. Unless it says sold here where the price is, then the sale has not yet been completed. During the time somebody has placed a deposit, you do have the ability to place a backup deposit. If you'd like to place a backup on a deposit, please contact us and we'll walk you through the process. The backup deposit secures your place in line. If the buyer ahead of you does not complete the purchase, then by default, you'll become the next buyer. If the current buyer does complete the purchase, then your $4.99 deposit will be refunded to you. If you were to proceed with the purchase, your $4.99 backup deposit is credited towards your purchase. If you have any questions, please give us a call or text anytime. Our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 866-8LANDIO. That's 866-852-6346. That number does also receive text messages. We do have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message or respond to our next available. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. If you've been following us for a while, we sincerely appreciate your continued support. If you're new to Landio, we highly recommend you take the time to go over here to our testimonials tab. There you'll find nearly two dozen testimonials in video format from our customers in their own words, talking about their experience of doing business with us. It would be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy customers and that you felt so compelled by the service that you received that you decide to provide a testimonial as well. On behalf of myself, my family, and the entire team here at Landio, we sincerely appreciate your continued support. And we ask that you please help us make the dream of land ownership come true for more people by sharing our website, our properties, and our videos with everyone that you know. Thank you and God bless. Landio.com